Like, little something right there, little bowl of cherries or something. You know what I'm saying? Something like kind of old sexy shit right there. I don't know. Something like that. But I would never fuck with nobody. Name ain't not near nigga mind worthy. And Tony done done all kind of motherfucking shit for, for my ass. But I'll be goddamn if I'm going to put Anthony Mitchell on the... That, that's Tony name right there. And yeah, that, yep. And shit. And it, did you check out the Mitchell? The Mitchell is right here, too. Yeah, that's two L's right. Fuck that shit. I don't give a goddamn... Hell No. I'm cool. I mean, I just, I just don't understand that. And then, like one of my cousins, y'all, Lord have mercy. She got all six of her motherfucking kids. All, oh well, yeah. And this is, and he came first, and then that one, this, that, and yeah. And girl, she check my shit out. You ain't even seeing them right here on the back. For real. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand. And even my babies. I love my babies to death. But I can't fuck with no tattoo names on my motherfucking body. Now, my niece and them, they got they all tattoos and shit. Ain't Tina, I got me a new tattoo. And whoop the wop And my girl, Monica, she's a nurse. And so she got a, 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 a nurse on her arm and shit. But Monica is high yellow, y'all. She high yellow, and she's very petite. Monica is about maybe, what, about five feet, five, shit, something like that. I mean, just a little bit of petite something. But the motherfucking uh, nurse is that motherfucking big on her motherfucking arm. Whereas, I mean, bitch, you can stand by the car, and I can still see that it's a nurse with a hat on. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just, oh, Lord have mercy. I just don't understand. I just, to me, I just, you know... I don't know. I, maybe, but then, too, I'm scared, too. Because I don't do pain too well. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem is the fact that I'm like, God damn, bitch, I know you had to be fucked all the way up. How high, higher than motherfucking high to get your shit all tatted all the fuck up and you had the shit draped all across the back and all. Man, fuck that. Now, I do like... Um, I have seen people have some shit like right behind the ear right here. Um, somebody had a couple of little motherfucking stars and something. I think that was motherfucking Chris Brown or something. Had some shit behind his motherfucking ear. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cute, you know. And then I saw a chick with some shit right behind her motherfucking ear right here. And this little meat right here. This little get down right here. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? And my girl Helen has a lot of them. I mean, she got a whole bunch of motherfucking tattoos. Yep, and this right here, this say that, and this. And I'm like, oh, my God, I know that had to hurt. But, see, I don't have no pain tolerance. I don't have no pain tolerance. I could tolerate pain and shit. Don't misunderstand me out of all the shit I done had done to me. So, I guess I can deal with pain. But to just do it willingly, fuck that. Well, I know that this shit is finna be all motherfucking day. And I'm finna just lay up here and you just finna put this needle to my ass and I can't do nothing about it. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So the bottom line is, oh, y'all, they got the uh, two for 20 back at um, Chili's, y'all. Uh, God damn it, I can't get it out. Chili's got the two for 20. Oh, shit. Holla. Um, Chili's got the two for 20, y'all. I know I'm supposed to be juicing some shit. I'm sitting here trying to read up a new concoction as we speak. But that motherfucking Chili's two for 20, y'all. Let me tell y'all about that motherfucking two for 20. That motherfucking two for 20 is so off the motherfucking... And I'm going to tell you what you want to get. You want to get those chicken crispers. Bitch, you would tear them motherfucking crispers. Lord have mercy, them crispers are so goddamn bad. Oh, they are the bomb. The crispers at Chili's. But don't have them, you know, just get your sauce and shit on the side. You know what I'm saying? Don't have them dipped in motherfuckers. You just dip them in a little cup or whatever. Because I, me, I don't, don't give me no sauce or nothing on mine. Just have mine just regular. You know what I'm saying? And I like mine like that. But, you know, I guess some people do like that shit dipped or whatever. Because it looked like on the thing, it looked like that shit was dipped in some kind of hot sauce or something. I don't do the hot sauce shit. I I don't put hot sauce on my fish, my chicken, you know, my spaghetti and none of that kind of old shit. Like, some motherfuckers just put hot sauce on everything. Like, Kenny, he puts hot sauce on everything. Just do, 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 on everything. I don't, I don't do that. And I know y'all probably saying, Kenny, I thought that motherfucker was expired. Well, yeah, I mean, a nigga still got a severance package pending. I, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I mean, he knows it. 
You know, we we already got to understand it. We already know what the, deal, what the deal is and shit. But, you know, I got needs sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I got needs sometimes, and sometimes shit just crack off. It's like, damn, what? Nigga, is that some smoke shit up in your motherfucking ceiling, nigga? I mean, for real, I think you need to take the broom and dust that. You know what I'm saying? Where you just fuck around and just realize that your ass is on your back and you didn't realize it and shit, motherfucker just done some shit to your ass right quick. And you be like... Damn, nigga. I mean, shit, it's a cobweb over there. And, yeah, it was one of them. I just, you know, found my ass on my motherfucking back. And it was good, too. I have to admit the shit was on that. So, uh, anyway, so I say unto my girl, Nirvana, Mama, you ain't the only one that done slipped up and slept with the jump off. And I know it's your confession or whatever. And you was making that confession to, you know, the, the man that you want to be with or whatever. That's, you know, talking about the tattoo thing or whatever. But... You know, I mean, you're 34 years old. You got a whole bunch of life to live. Don't take these niggas that serious. Because trust and believe, they don't take us as serious as we take them, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I, don't, I truly don't believe that men take us as serious as we take them. Because we are just, we're nurturers by nature. That's who we are. And we just love so willingly and so giving and stuff like that. And, you know, little things hurt our feelings. And, you know, we work with feelings and shit. But, you know, men are a little bit different. They cut from a different cloth. That's why they say they're from Mars and we're from Venus, you know. So, I say don't take yourself so serious and shit like that there. And, you know, if the man want to, you know, solidify the fact that he loved you or whatever. Bottom line is, he don't have to go ahead on and tattoo, his ass, tattoo your name on his ass or nothing. He can just go ahead on, you know what I'm saying, take you on down to Justice of the Peace. Well, since you right here in California, go on down there to the Queen Mary on the ship and go ahead on and do it moving. Courthouse, whatever the case, and just do it moving. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker love you that much, I, I just feel like, you know, that's just what it's supposed to be. You know, give me my your motherfucking name. Now, some motherfuckers, it ain't worthy. They not worth getting a motherfucking name. You follow me? Do you, do you follow me? Because... You know, it's other things that go into play with that. Now, I understand that fully for the simple fact that I'll be goddamn if I'm a fuck up my uh, support and shit for, you know what I'm saying, a throwed off nigga? No. A untrustworthy ass motherfucker? I'm going to fuck up my money a month for you? For real? Nigga, you got to be doing some big old major things. I'm not bullshitting. We got to have some shit in writing and all kind of motherfucking shit, nigga. We got to go to the notary. Triple A is free with my premium. We gonna do that. Because fuck that. If I'm gonna fuck, if I'm gonna fuck up my livelihood to marry you, you got to be a cold motherfucker. That's all I'm gonna say. So until, until, I'm, until I meet and marry that motherfucker... You ain't finna fuck up my income. I I I I just refuse that. I mean, we can we can we can we can slip and slide all motherfucking day long. We can jaw jack bullshit all that kind of shit all day long. But if you think for one motherfucking moment I'm gonna fuck up my livelihood for your ass, I ain't that motherfucker crazy. I ain't that. I don't seem done. I'm telling you, and it ain't a good look. It ain't a good look. Now here you you getting your spouse support and shit, you know what I'm saying? You done broke up, you and your husband and split up or whatever, and you getting your little child support. Then you meet this new motherfucker. I mean, all shit is good in the beginning, ain't it? So you meet this new motherfucker. This motherfucker want to get married or whatever, or you want to get married. And then you go ahead on and marry this motherfucker because his dick is good and his mouthpiece is on deck. You marry this motherfucker, and then, then your ex is like, well, shit, I ain't got to pay this bitch no more child support. I mean, no more spouse support. This bitch done got remarried. She ain't my obligation no more. For real? Now, I think that applies if you meet somebody that got more than what your, past, your last had. You know what I'm saying? If your ex-husband was making $80,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? That's a decent piece of chain. He making eighty thousand thousand dollars a year, but the new nigga is making one twenty five. This motherfucker want to marry you? I mean, come, you know what I'm saying? But we still gonna let's 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 just wait for a little while longer. Let's make sure this is what we really want. God damn it! You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers can flip the script on your ass after you done married the motherfuckers, and then they want to come with some new sideline ass hoe. You know? So, yeah, you don't, might not want to do that either. You might want to, you know, get, let's get this shit a trial period for a minute. I ain't saying shacking up is for everybody, but goddamn, I understand, you know. 
So, shit, uh uh-uh, no. So, anyway, I know I'm all over the motherfucking place uh, with this goddamn video. And really, I was making this video for my girl anyway. But just letting her know that she's not alone on this right here. And, you know, um, she's trying to get to a place where she can just open up and be who she is. And, you know, not worry about what a motherfucker say. Because right or wrong, somebody gonna have some shit to say. I mean, this shit gonna be thumbs down by the time you watch this shit. When you get on from work today, watch and see it's gonna be about three motherfucking thumbs down. So motherfuckers is, you know, motherfuckers is not going to agree with everything we say or do. Motherfuckers is not gonna love our shit. Motherfuckers ain't gonna dig it. So at the end of the day, stand in your motherfucking truth. What the fuck can happen? Like, for real. I mean, because last I got the memo, grown folks don't get in trouble. Kids do. You know what I'm saying? I got three of them, and I get that ass. Like, one of my girls was saying this morning, she was saying, Tina, you raise your kids from the old school. Hell yeah. Wherever you fuck up at is where I'm going to get your ass at. That's just what the fuck it is. Get up out of my motherfucking business, because, yeah, I'm going to whoop his ass. Right here. God damn it. Hey, now I might take you to the bathroom. They're going to hear it. I might take you to the back of the stove. They gonna hear it. But I'm getting your ass. Hell yeah. I'm getting your ass. Knee deep. Hell yeah. Because first of all, I feel like this right here. Let me kick your ass before you get out there in these motherfucking streets and the police pull your ass up out your goddamn car and beat your ass out there on the asphalt. Fuck that shit. Let me get mine in first. Because I'm gonna be your motherfucking conscience. So before you get your ass out there and decide to do that bullshit, you gonna be thinking, you know what, mama, you know what? Mm, mama ain't gonna prove, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way I am with my kids. It's not about making them nervous or making them afraid of me. I mean, now my kids aren't afraid of me at all. I think we have a very beautiful relationship. But they know. You let that motherfucking school come calling me about your ass and show the fuck out at the goddamn school. I'm getting in your ass. As soon as you come into this motherfucker, come on back here to my room. Because it's getting ready to go down. I'm, and I ain't got no problem with it. I whoops ass. Period. Call them. Because I'm going to beat that ass. I ain't got no problem with it. And they done called me down there to the school a couple of times. But Tiana came in here and she said she got a whooping. Yes, yeah, I sure did. I whooped that ass. So if, uh, if something getting ready to go down right now, then let me know that. So I can go ahead and call their daddy and tell them that y'all for to have me downtown. Because, yep, I whooped her ass this morning, last night. She might get another one after this since y'all motherfuckers got me up in here on some bullshit. Yes, I do believe in whoopings. I do believe in spankings. I don't fuck with timeouts because, first of all, timeout shit, I mean, what the fuck it do? I mean, what's that? Go stand over there and, you know, just figure out what it is that you done done. For real? I don't I don't believe in the timeout shit. Now, um, I will make your ass hold some books, though. I will make your motherfucking ass, okay, well, since you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, you want to be misbehaving and shit, you, you know, the teacher don't know nothing. You know everything. So, I tell you what you're going to do then. Go get them books that you have for your class and shit and take some more off that shelf. And I want you to hold them motherfuckers up. And when they get below your goddamn waist, I'm getting in your ass. Period. That's it. And I be goddamn. Well, see, first of all, my kids ain't never stayed home from school no goddamn way. But I be goddamn if I'm going to see some more kids. And, well... He woke up late and, you know, so um, he, you know, he might as well go ahead on.